My name is Sharon, and today we're going to make a cat in the hat hat. So, you're going to need some supplies. We're going to need two 12 by 9 red construction paper and one big 18 by 12 piece of construction paper. You need some glue. I have a couple different types here to use. You need a ruler, pencil, scissors, of course, and we'll need some tape. You're also going to need a couple different sizes of paper plates to help draw circles, or you could use a compass, or if you're really good, you can draw it freehand. So, one of the first things we're going to do is going to make the body of the hat, and what we'll do is we're going to take these two red pieces of construction paper, and we're going to tape them together. And we're just going to overlap them just a little bit, about a quarter inch or so. Line up the edges nice. And a couple pieces of tape on there. Okay, so now we have one nice long. We're going to end up making it into a tube, and that will be the body of the hat. But right now we're going to lay that down. Okay. The next thing is we're going to draw out our base of the hat, the brim. We'll take our big paper plate and we're going to put it down on our white paper. And we're going to draw around. Okay. And then we'll cut that out. be the brim. We're going to set that there. Now, with our leftover paper, that out of the way, we're going to draw some stripes. Now, our paper this direction on this one is nine inches. So we need two white stripes on there. So we're going to measure out an inch and a half and measure that over and then we're going to cut them out. So I've already done that. We've measured out an inch and a half. I need four strips because we got to tape them together so they're long enough. that out like that. So I have some cut out already just to save some time. We'll back to our red piece of paper here. And then we're going to measure up an inch and a half. And we're going to put our white strip on the red. Okay? And that's where we're, we're going to glue it down. You can tape it down if you want. Whatever you wish to do. I'll do a little glue here. Okay. So again, if you want to mark off your inch and a half marks, that way you remember where your uh, paper is supposed to go, that would probably help. Do an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. So, line that up between the two marks. Pop that down. And then we're going to go and do the next stripe. So we're going to have nice long white stripes across our red paper. You see that? Okay. So once we got that done, we'll end up with a stripe like that. You're going to take it, you're going to turn it into a tube and tape it together. And there's the base of the hat. So now we need to do one more thing. We need to draw the top the crown of the hat. So we're going to take our second paper plate and a red piece of paper. That second red piece, of, that other piece of paper. So then we're going to draw around and cut this out. Okay, so now we have our 
brim, the body of our hat, and the crown of the hat. So now we get to put it together. Now I'm going to use liquid glue. It's probably the best. Uh, it will take a little bit to dry, so uh, you won't be able to wear your hat right off the bat. You'll have to wait a little bit. So we're just going to put a little bead of glue all the way around this hat. And this is the we're going to do this on the base. If you need an adult to help you with that, ask them. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. There you go. Okay, so on our base here, we're going to find it about the middle. I'm going to press it down. Okay. Now, you can let that dry overnight if you want to, but right now we're going to go ahead and put on the crown. So we're going to put another bead of glue up here. And we'll take our red and we're going to center that over there. It's a little bigger than our hat, but that's okay. We're going to trim it after it dries. So get it stuck on there. Okay. We're going to let that dry overnight, and then you'll end up with that. We're going to trim off the excess, and then there's one more step after it's totally dry. To put the hat on your head, we have to cut. So we're going to cut a hole in here, and then you're going to cut out around. I'm going to cut the rest of these off. right up and now your glue is nice and stiff so you can get right up against the edge and then you can put your hat on and have your cat in the hat. Thank you.